Hi there, welcome back, I am Frozen Melon. Today we'll be starting a new arena run for us all. So let's jump in and see what class and hero power we get, because it is still the dual class arena. So with these ones here, I quite like getting Hunter, because I maybe can go with like something alongside that. That'd be quite good. Shaman's probably not bad, or Mage. We'll go with the Shaman. I want something kind of... Do some really cool stuff. Could get more aggressive. Demon Hunter Hero Power. We don't really have much Demon Synergy, so I'm gonna go a Shaman Rogue this time round. Um, I'm never controlling secrets, as far as I'm concerned. So I'll take a hard gun, just the three mana taunt. It's gonna be good. So your Shield Masters, four mana taunt. Again, just could be pretty good. Um. Useful on silence whenever a battle cry is something. Give this plus one plus one in your hand. Don't have that many battle cries, but I think Sledge Serper actually gives some good value in the late game. Um, take a shadow step for any good battle cries we get later or something like that. Destroying a beast or just a shred assassinate is just better, I think, rather than having a particular removal. Um, yeah, a 2-3, can't argue with that. If I cast a spell, discover a spell, or we'll take the Battle Master, just because that's really good. I don't have any weapons, although I do have my hero power, so this does sometimes get a chance to put a 2-2 weapon. Hmm. I think the Glock Crawler could be good. People seem picking up quite a lot of pirates at the moment. And yeah, again, we'll take the Tuscar, kind of incentivize getting spells. Out of these, Stealth and Poisonous. Let's go with the Underbelly. It could be some late like, game cool stuff. And Ice Fishing does draw two cards, so I'll pick that up. Incentivize in some Merlocks. The Battlemaster. Yep. Yeah. I will take a backstab here. I play this day. I don't want to play three cards or a three mana taunt. Take the three mana taunt here. It might do it really well, it might not, who knows. This is a good chance of procking, and it only is a 3 2, so an aggressive start at two drops, so that's not bad. Um. Might work with some combo aspects, although it is slow tempo. Destroy a beast. Fine, it is a three drop. This I can't really make use of too well. Let's take another battle cry. Do I have any death rolls? I haven't picked any up. Not that I'm aware of. So this is not that great. I don't have. I have one overload card. So we'll take the stone skin basilisk. Yeah, another murloc, but that does prevent my little bit of a combo with the card draw for late game. <sighs> Decisions. But it does mean this has more to hit, and that's not a dead card. No. I don't think it's good enough to pick up. Lightning Bolt isn't bad. But then I can't pass a uh, value elemental. Staff minion that becomes immune. Don't really have much. I can't see adjacent minions. Uh, it's 2 mana, 2 2. That has a death rattle. To get something with spell damage. Do we have anything with stealth on it at the moment? No. But again, it is an aggressively started two drop. I'm going to pick the four drop here just to hopefully get something a little better. That is removal and face damage. Um. Discovering a card 
is more flexible than just one big minion because it means I could get other stuff. So I'm going to put hallucination on here. Big torn or elemental or dark iron. I have a good amount of two drops, so I think the dark iron dwarf is slightly better. Draw a card if it's played this turn. Gain plus two plus two. Repeat this effect. I think, yeah, it is the uh, Edwin here. A coin to your hand. Give me something heal. Uh, give me extra spell. Can be quite good. Bartender. Whenever Freeman dies, gain plus one attack. Big four drop up. I don't really want to take the healing, and if I'm losing the board that much, I don't think the healing is going to matter. So the mini mage does also synergize with the gain immunity stealth mini. I think we picked up earlier, wasn't it? What was that one? Yeah, that one there. And tradable. Hmm. Use cost of a spell in your hand by one. Don't have very many spells, but is worth the cycle. Okay, so that is set up for this Shaman Rogue deck. Let's jump in. We get to see Warg or a, a Warg, <laughs> uh, a, a Warrior Rogue this time round. Uh, probably keep this three, toss that two. Actually, no, that two into that three. Yeah, certainly you'll get the combo off here, and I got a four. We'll keep the hand. And coin this out, play this, play that, play this. Or just coin my hero power if I need to. That's fine. In a box? Mm, pirate stuff. I hope I draw my Karaka Claw Crawler. Smelly fish. Yeah. Make the trade there. I do want to kind of play the ice fishing at some point, which will probably turn five, so hopefully we won't draw any of the Murlocs until then. Okay, so my opponent decided it was not. Good idea to hero power there, so that's fine. He might hero power hit that, then make a trade into it, which means that this comes online. If he's playing anything weaker, that's fine. Then I've got a three drop with a two drop to draw my cards to hopefully fill the board with a bunch of Marilots. That is even better. Play this four drop. Trade. Like he, hit, he either trades that minion in first and it dies anyway, or he takes three extra damage. I can take the hit. Which is absolutely fine either way. It's just too good to pass up because it's such a clean kill on it, but can I kill? No, five, five, I cannot, so I should do this play. Okay, so let's see what my opponent does here. That was the card they got off me. I was wondering what was that, what was going on there. At least it wasn't one of my Murlocs, because, uh, yeah, I want to keep that for late game. So I already drew one of my Murlocs, but... This is game here anyway. Off, off. 
There we go. So that was GG to the opponent there. We just blew them out quite quickly. So I will see you guys in the next one.